Hi guys, it's Olivia here from Olivia's Catastrophe and I wasn't going to be filming a video today but I am because guess what arrived? A big huge box of $250 worth of books from Quirk Books. Now I won this giveaway where I would win $250 worth of books from Quirk Books and the box has arrived! Bring on the box! This is a huge box of books. It's really heavy and I can't wait to open it and show you everything that I chose. Quirk Books is a branch off of Simon & Schuster Publishings and they're one of my favourite publishers along with Harpertine and Penguin. So I can't wait to open it, show you what's inside and yeah, can't wait to read all of these goodies. Let's open this box and see what's inside. my face with a box because I have to turn it this way. Okay, the box is now open. I'm going to set it down and show you each book as you know, we go along. <laughs> so the first two books that I got were paperback copies of Pride, Prejudice and Zombies and Dreadfully Ever After by Steve Hawkinsmith and Jane Austen. Now I have read Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. wasn't my favourite classic but it was alright. And I'm very much looking forward to reading Pride and Prejudice and Zombies because even though when I first saw the cover to Pride and Prejudice and Zombies on someone's blog, I thought that is ridiculous. Who thought that that was going to be a good idea? Why would someone do such a ridiculous thing and add zombies into this like classic romance novel? But now it's a movie and apparently it's amazing and people find it hilarious, people find it as a good plot line. And you know the movie has Matt Smith in it and I'm a Doctor Who fan so I am going to actually read these two books and after I read this one I'm going to go and see the movie because <laughs> The next book that I pull out is The Geek's Guide to Dating by Eric Smith. It's a nice little hardcover copy of this book and you know look at the look at the hardcover copy like it's so cute and I really like this because you know I might be a book geek and not a gaming geek but it just seems such like a such a cool idea its pages are so lovely and they're set out like game instructions and I don't know if this is a yeah this is an actual you know dating advice book I don't really need actual dating advice at the moment because you know not because I'm dating someone. Oh, now it sounds sad. Even though I don't, even though I'm not looking for dating advice, I'm going to read a book about dating advice because it is too cute to pass up. Next thing I pull out is the box set of hardcover editions of Miss Per the trilogy of Miss Peregrine's Hope for Children by Ransom Riggs. I actually, so you know how the movie of Miss Peregrine's Children came out and my family wanted to go see it because my little sister had read it, I hadn't read it, and my mum had heard a lot about this movie, so we were all three going to have dinner and see this movie. I'm someone who really believes in reading the book before seeing the movie, which is why I haven't seen so many movies because I still need to see the, read the book. And I bought Miss Peregrine's Home for Children on my Kindle and I speed read it that morning finished it by the afternoon when we went out for dinner and then saw the movie so I had finished it in time but I actually loved the book a lot and I wanted to read the other ones and when I won this giveaway Quirk Books are the publishers of this series so I was so so happy to be able to get them all in hardcover so now I actually have a physical copy of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children to put on my shelf and I can read the other ones. So what is Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Children about? I thought it was going to be a horror story when I saw the pictures about this one but it's really more of a paranormal kind of read rather than anything else. It's historical fiction, paranormal, it's like a school for children who are peculiar which means they have some peculiar powers but they're stuck in this time loop in the real world, aren't supposed to know about them. There's also about a boy who's grieving for his grandfather, who was kind of like a father to him. And he stumbles across all these peculiars and they say that he is a peculiar as well, even though he feels like the most normal kid out there. In a similar vein, I got Miss Peregrine's Journal for Peculiar Children, which is just like a notebook, like a notebook kind of thing. For that just goes that accompanies the series it's just a journal you know like I just wanted a notebook with that looks beautiful like this and I think I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna write in this yet I have a notebook addiction but I will use it wisely I think I might write all my peculiar poetry down in this one these next three books are books that I'm really excited about because I've been seeing them everywhere and maybe I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan but my father is a huge fan of Star Wars so it's ingrained into me. I have a friend who's a huge fan of Star Wars that's so also ingrained into me 
from her kind of and you know I know all about Star Wars because I grew up with it so it's the Star Wars movies but as Shakespeare plays like like who thought of this well so this one is um the Jedi doth return and I also have the Empire striketh back and then there's just the one that's Star Wars I don't know what genius is this is genius Okay, the next one is a hardcover copy of My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. And this is also the author of Horror Store. So this one is set in 1988 and it's a horror story again. And what happens is these two friends, best friends since fourth grade, they go skinny dipping. And after that night, something goes horribly wrong. And suddenly her best friend is not acting like her best friend. And they think she's possessed and is, you know, their friendship going to be stronger than the devil itself. It just sounds creepy. And then by the same author, I also got Horror Store, which, yeah, Grady Hendrix once again. This is a horror story set in Ikea, from what I believe, what I've heard. I actually saw the cover of this one and I didn't like the cover. So I decided I wasn't going to read it. I am shallow like that. I will see a cover and decide I'm not going to read a book or I will read a book. But then I can always have my mind changed and my mind did change because I read a lot of blog reviews for this book and they were all proclaiming how wonderful it was, how creative it was. So of course I felt like I need to try this book too now. So this is a magazine. It's supposed to look like a magazine. So like the numbers are at the top. You get like, um, you know, Ikea kind of, you know, instructions of how to build things as well and um, yeah, it's a horror story set in Ikea. It sounds really unique. I'm looking forward to reading this one. This one is called Dracula's Air by Sam Stuhl. I read Dracula earlier this year and I really liked it. I was surprised by how much I liked that classic, how easy it was to read. So when I saw that there's this like lovely, beautiful looking book based off of Dracula, I am just wanting to read it. Um, it's set 10 years after Dracula is and they find these two victims who have had all their blood drained from their body and of course only the group of people from Dracula know about Dracula and know all the horrors that they experience. They feel like this could be the same thing again and they all group together to investigate and it just it sounds really nice. The pages are absolutely beautiful in this book and it's interactive so you know like things like letters and all that you can just take out and it just sounds like it's going to be a fun kind of book to read and the last book is in a similar vein it is an interactive Sherlock Holmes mystery The Crimes of Dr Watson by Dwayne S I'm going to try and say this last name Swierczynski that's how I think you pronounce it this is when John Watson is arrested and he's describing what happened that caused his arrest and the burning down of the rooms at 221B. So it's kind of a story about that. And like Dracula's Air, it's an interactive one with, you know, more beautiful pages, more, you know, interactive, lovely things. Just gonna be a blast to read. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one as well. Those are all the books that I received from Quirkbooks. Thank you so, so much for the giveaway. I'll leave a link to Quirkbooks website down below. You should really check out their books. They're all epic. You're gonna have to expect a lot of Quirkbook reviews because I want to spread the word about this wonderful company and these wonderful books. And I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and book haul. If you don't believe I've unboxed everything, the box is now officially empty. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next week with another video. Please hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this one. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. I have videos coming out every week. And please leave in the comment section below. Please let me know what books you have recently acquired and whether you've been lucky in giveaways or if you haven't been lucky in giveaways. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye!